What is going on everybody? We still rabbit here. I'm exhausted. Uh, so the sale ended yesterday and this morning we brought in a truckload of staples and it was not, here, let me show you some pictures. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you what's on it and then we're gonna go through a couple of these pallets, but that's probably not gonna be until tomorrow. It will be in this video though. Let's walk through. So first back here, cookies. So many cookies. This is the pallet that you saw that had collapsed and this almost fell on me. So it was leaning and as Tim was pulling it out, I was kind of holding it up to hopefully keep it from toppling. And as soon as we got past that last pallet, I could tell it was coming down and I just ran to get out of there before it crushed me. But if I'm gonna die by being crushed by something, I feel like cookies is kind of expected. That honestly wouldn't be surprising at all to be the way that I die. Sounds about right. But anyways, so we got three skids here. It was one, as you saw in the pictures. Uh, got separated into three. Uh, this looks like all boxes, but it's all small boxes. These are going to be good for eBay orders. Um, definitely like getting these six, six or eight, six, four is a size. Six, six, six is another size that we often buy. 14, 10, six, we don't buy, but I'm sure we can find a use for it. I think these will, I mean, this is probably 200 bucks worth of boxes here. Or so, uh, rough estimate. Uh, and then we've got a lot of pallets that look like this. These, uh, a lot of paper goods. Uh, this is this roll towel, uh, paper, that's not even English. Yep, paper towel. It could have been toilet paper too in the picture. Paper towel, um, there's more of it. These multi-fold towels. These don't do really well in the sale. I see a case of toilet paper here. There's probably 80 rolls. Uh, pillow cases. <laughs> Oh, like medical. I don't know what we're going to do with those. Maybe they'll be worth something on eBay. Um, this one, I don't know what we're going to do with. This is all hand sanitizer. Um, I won't sell hand sanitizer on eBay just because price gouging people have ruined it for those of us who are trying to sell it at retail. These are probably 60 bucks per box normally. I don't know, dollar day in the sale maybe? I mean, these don't do all that well. Aside from the fact that it's hand sanitizer, our customers don't need the dispenser stuff. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this palette. Maybe I'll try to sell it as a whole for like a hundred bucks. Um, this will be good for the sale. I'm thinking $10 a day for that. And then these will save for like $2 a day or something. Uh, those will do really well. More just stuff. And all of these brown, this, that should be a paper product. But all of these round boxes, uh, can you see what's in there? They're just gonna be full of random stuff. That one looks like it's all paper towel. There's supposed to be a lot of coffee on this load. There's some right there, McDonald's coffee. But there should be like 300 boxes of Dunkin' Donuts K-Cups. Uh, let's see. Envelope. Oh, packing list envelopes. box is really light. I'm not even going to open that. Uh, looks like some storage solutions, cleaning products. Here we've got a vacuum cleaner, uh, a couple of these simple human stainless trash cans. Those usually sell pretty decent. Uh, Tempur-Pedic office chair over here. A lot of copy paper, some boxes of Kleenex, more copy paper. What is this? Uh, does not say on there. It went to William Sonoma originally. Uh, just packing paper. We don't get a lot for that, and we don't use it. Over here. Oh, uh, what are in these boxes? Oh, here we go. Krispy Kreme K cups. It's decaf, unfortunately, but it will still sell. Let's see if I can get this open see the expiration date uh, where is there we go um, expired just a couple days ago that's okay it's coffee uh, looks like a whole bunch of that actually this is something else nature valley granola bars 
Oh, uh, what's in here? Oh, this is probably all coffee as well. Is this also the Krispy Kreme? Yep. I'm pretty sure it was Dunkin' Donuts that we were supposed to get a whole bunch of. Maybe I am misremembering. This was a manifested load, but I don't really look at the manifests at all. What's down here? Looks like fancy water. I have no idea. Maybe 10 bucks a case on the sale. If not, maybe we'll just drink it. A whole bunch of these. Uh, looks like three cases on this side. There's a couple more cases. I think they're all the same. They look disgusting, but they also look sellable. Um, lots of coffee on here. That'll do really well for the sale. Over here, more odds and ends. That's probably like a file cabinet or something. So much printer paper on here, which is good. This stuff does really well. Looks like some garbage bags. Oh, I thought that was, never mind. Uh, some popcorn, like a big case, big cups. Look back here, more printer paper, a lot of brown boxes. What's that on top? Can you see that? I can't see my screen when I lift my phone that high. So you, you're just gonna have to tell me if you know what that is. Um, over here, RX bar, peanut butter bars. We've got some more coffee over here. Looks like those busted open, so those are probably in date. Pilot G2. Pens. I mean, these are probably still going to be worth selling on eBay. The boxes are messed up, but we'll just put, I think these are probably 12 packs to a box. 12 pens to a box. They will probably do pretty well on eBay. That says rubber bands. Bags of rubber bands. Those will do well in the sale. That's more rubber bands. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's leaking. Stand it up. Uh, an electric scooter. Kickstart electric scooter. Odd that that was sold at Staples. What about here? Uh, vacuum. Dirt Devil Quick Flip. That's a little box for a vacuum. I don't have a knife on me. I'm not going to be able to open that up. That is a little tiny box for... Maybe it's just a battery for the vacuum. Um, two pieces per carton. So this might just be the battery for the vacuum. That could be some money. Let me grab a knife. No, it's... Wow, flashlight just turned on. Hold on. All right. No, it's just a regular... Uh, well, you can see it here. Regular handheld vacuum. Those will probably go on eBay. Here you can just see an assortment of items mixed in here. Some headphones, a stapler, some juice, uh, another Tempur-Pedic office chair. We get a lot of these from the Staples. I don't know why, but they seem to sell well. Um, more pallets back here that we can't really get to. We see another stapler there. And then just boxes of stuff. That box says Chewy. That could have some pet food in there. Can you hear the wind? You can, I can hear it coming off that door. It is super windy out today. Uh, we got stand-up desks, two of them. What's in here? Just stuff and things for breeze and folders and a mop. Uh, squeegee. This looks like something that you would use. Oh, I can't get it out of here. At a gas station. I think that's exactly what this is actually. Extra long handle, probably by for the, by the diesel pumps for the semi trucks. Uh, more boxes on top. What is this? Ooh, bubble mailers. Um, eight and a half by fourteen and a half. So that's size five, I think. I don't know. We'll probably have a use for them. Uh, can I just pull this out? Hopefully they're poly and not craft. I hate the craft bubble mailers. And they are craft bubble mailers. I mean, they'll get used. I just prefer not to use them. Looks like we've got two cases of those. Uh, over here, we got pine saw. We've got, I don't know, some piece leather seating surface. So, uh, fancy office chair, I guess. Cups. Uh, this is Clorox toilet bowl cleaner. You can kind of see it in there. More stuff back there. I wonder what's in that orange case. 
Is there any chance I can, no, oh, I cannot squeeze through that. All right, I'm gonna climb. Oh, nope, nope, that didn't work, hold on. It's a first aid kit. All right, that was safe. It is a first aid kit. These bigger first aid kits are actually some decent value. Um, I might get like a hundred bucks for this on eBay. It's still sealed. Uh, is there a date? Expires next year. Um, the reason it expires is because there's usually like ibuprofen or something in here as well. But these are not cheap. I also grabbed this. It's an air freshener. It looks like he's pooping. That's the clip that holds him on, but that's uh, all right. Moving on, more stuff over here. Um, these are nice little sorters for on a desk. We've got a couple on some of the desks around here. More paper, folders. I don't know what that is. Probably just a box of stuff. More stuff. Hey, look, more of these. Here's how many sold in the last sale. Not many. I think we're just gonna put all of these out for $10 a day next time. Just get rid of them. I am gonna try a couple of frame shops and see if they might be interested, but these are a tough sell. They're like 118 bucks on at Staples. At least those were, these look the same. And uh, yeah, we're not getting that. Uh, what else? Some random odds and ends that were stacked between the pallets. Over here, what are these giant? Some sort of giant cardboard, maybe boxes or something. I don't know, that should be interesting. And this is a roll of cardboard. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Uh, some more boxes. This whole pallet looks like shipping supplies. You have no idea what those are gonna be. This, is there any labels on it? 16. I wonder if it's like brooms or something. Hold on, let me cut this. Really tall shipping tubes. These are about six feet tall. And they don't have ends. So maybe these aren't for shipping. I don't know. Maybe you can ship like skis in them or something. I don't know what you would need those for. So those will be sold. And then lastly, a whole bunch of dry erase boards and bulletin boards. And stuff like that. There's a couple of folding tables back there. So that is the staples load. If you can't tell, I'm exhausted here. I am going to start... Oh, and if you notice, a lot of these are on plastic pallets. Not all of them. Plastic pallets are food grade, which is funny because the food is not on those. But, I mean, there were two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus probably some more. There's twelve. What about this one? So twelve plastic pallets. I should be able to get ten to twenty bucks each for them. So I mean, it's a small amount compared to what this whole load costs, but it's extra money. There's another one there. Thirteen. So half the truck is on plastic pallets, which is nice. Normally. Our, our pallets, we've got a guy who, a company that comes and picks them up when we've got like 50 or 100 of them, and we get a dollar each. Not much, pays for lunch, and uh, that's about it. But I don't know if they will buy these. If not, I know a local retailer that will probably be interested in them. So once we get all this emptied off, make a little money off of those. 
So I'm starting to go through these pallets and we're sorting a little bit. This little pile here is gonna be the warehouse sale. This is going to be local auctions. We have the big cases of toilet paper and whatnot. I'm starting a pallet of paper, printer paper here, which is mostly all gonna be just warehouse sale. We saw them by the ream. Here I've got multi-fold towels, roll towels, and then just box, mixed boxes in the back. I'm not sorting those yet. And that's everything. This is what the plastic pallets look like. I think these should sell decently. They look brand new too. I might actually have a buyer for this pallet, which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna try to uh, trade it for some free time at my gym. If I can get six months at my gym, that comes up to about 1400 bucks. So, and I know it's expensive. I have a personal trainer, that's why. They use this and they're probably still buying them at Staples for 60 or 80 bucks for each one of these boxes. So it works out well for both of us. So I'm just starting on this one and look at this. We were almost, we've got like three boxes left of this size. Got a whole bunch of them here. Yeah, it's the same size. So that works out really nicely. Don't need to order those now. I hate this size water because these are, this is like three bucks in the store for this whole box worth. But we always keep the water in the fridge here just for us to drink. But this is an awkward size to drink, but might as well hang on to it. All right, let's open one here. It's still sealed, right? Yeah. I have no idea what's in it, but I figure I'll open one or two on camera. Uh, looks like printer paper. What in the world is, oh, soap dispensers. Cut this bubble wrap. I think that's what this is. No, it has a key. What in the world is this? Hold on, let me pull it out. So this is bizarre. What is, supposedly it's a soap dispenser. I looked this up, uh, this model number here, 9202-1200, and it just says um, it's a soap dispenser. It was very vague in the description. But this is a, why does it have a big red button? And what is this thing? And why do you need all of this for a soap dispenser? I have so many questions. Let's open it up. And the one listed is like 75 bucks plus shipping and there are no solds. Yeah, that looks like a soap dispenser. You attach it here. And it would just hold like a regular. And dispense down here. I don't get it. Well, that's a hinge, that should open. Uh, it's screwed in, so it'll open if you take the screws out. <sighs> yeah, I got nothing here. We're just gonna list it on eBay. We don't need to know what it is. Here's the manual, hand care concentrates dispensers. It's just these regular bottles. I have 1200, so for hand sanitizer, I can't imagine that makes a difference. Anything else in here? Oh, there's more stuff, hold on. We've got, uh, looks like a battery. It's got wires coming off, it's heavy. I'm gonna guess that's a battery. Some sort of tray. This is, this might be the purchase receipt from the original buyer. Does not, oh, I think this is the return slip. It does not have a price on it. Um, it doesn't really say. Uh, what else we got in here? Another, I don't know, that's probably a wall mount. A tube. Does it say anything on the box? Here's more. Let's see. Yeah, I have no idea. I guess we'll just list it on eBay. We got 20 rolls of Cottonelle toilet paper here. Odds are this is individually wrapped rolls, but let's just open it up and see if it's the retail packs. Just individually wrapped. Here's another one. I'm guessing this is just a mixture of stuff, kind of like these. It looks like one of those size boxes, although it does have this on it. Usually, oh, and that this might be something else. What do we have here? It looks like a monitor stand. Monitor stands, there are four of them in here. Uh, 
back when I sold these uh, this type of stuff on Amazon, I could probably get 15 bucks or so after shipping and fees. It's probably not worth it on eBay though. So let's we'll put them in the sale, $10 a day. Here we've got the tiniest box of paper I have ever seen. I wonder if that's what's in here or if they just cut down a box. Because they make half cases like this, but they're, you know, the height of a case. Why does this side not feel like it's cut? Right. And it is paper. <laughs> Two reams of paper. All right. We got another box here. These are the ones that, you know, they didn't inspect them or anything. They just took it right from the customer return and put it on a pallet. That's not always a good thing. It was not really a bad thing either. Paper. Fine paper. No value. We've had these before. On staples loads. But it'll still sell on the sale for, I'd guess, about five bucks. What else do we have here? There's printer paper. We've got a file organizer. Dirt Devil, whole bunch of forks. Let's see what's in. Oh, this is a pretty light box. Looks like a literature organizer here. Oh, looks nice. Probably go for 10 bucks in the sale. I know this looks like a nightmare, but I'll have a pallet set up soon. Uh, let's see. Leave per Dennis. You can't even see what I'm looking at. Uh, we got toilet paper, right? There's this paper towel. Paper towel. A couple of those. That's a big box. I wonder what... It's a really light box. There you go. Craft... Oh, mailing tubes. I hate the mailing tubes. You saw the really tall ones that we got on this load. I don't know what we're going to do with them. We don't ever ship anything where this would be relevant to have. But maybe we'll throw them up in the mezzanine and see if we ever have a use for it. All right, I'm going to need to go off camera and take some of these layers off. We've got coffee cups, like foam cups. And you already saw this stuff. Oh, what is in that box? This has got some weight to it. I think this is two of these organizers. What is in this box? Does it say right here? Well, whatever it was, 93 bucks, I'm assuming is what they paid. Yeah, 93 bucks. Let's say, oh, up here. Wood 12 compartment literature organizer. More, more of those. Uh, does it say how many there were supposed to be? Because it says 93. Two at 45, 46.59 each. So maybe we get 20 bucks a piece for them. Realistically, we'll probably just put them on ten dollar day, so ten each. If there's two here, two there, that's forty bucks. Here's a little organizer that I said we have on the desk. Opens up like this. You can see there's a couple on Tim's desk. I might throw this one in my office. Now that I've got my new desk, I need to reorganize it a little bit. All right, got that layer off. So start with these before. Ooh, let's get some weight to it. What do we have here? Uh, looks like bags, like you would have a cookie in or something from a bakery. Presumably the same thing. Let's see, liner, wax, napkin, sanitary. Yep, so we've got two cases of 500 each. These might be worth looking at eBay, but uh, it's tough to say if they're going to be worth selling. Okay, so I don't think that's what these are for. Um, it says sanitary napkin um, like waist liners. I think a sanitary napkin is a feminine product. So probably for the little garbage cans in the stalls of the ladies' room, I guess. Seems like an odd type of bag to use for that. But they're kind of all over the place on eBay, but the most recent was two of these boxes for 25 bucks shipped. We'll put these in the sale. Someone will pay 10 bucks a piece for these. Now this box, paper. So just regular paper. 
Uh, let's see, it is gray paper. I'll get some more Purell. This I could probably just put right on this pallet. Is this the same number? 646302? Yes, it is. Um, this one, Positive Promotions. Uh, before that spills open. A couple more of these boxes of premium paper. Let's see what we've got in here. What in the world? My phone is ringing. Potential spam. All right, what is this? Socks. We don't do average. So I'm guessing it was something they printed and uh, must, must have been a misprint or something. So we get a whole bunch of these socks. We don't do average, we do awesome. I don't know why we have them, but I'm sure they'll sell. All right, I get distracted for a little bit. Did I open this one? Yeah, paper. All right, what do we have here? Ooh. Eight inch digital photo frames. I don't know if these have any value because they're like unbranded, but we got four of them here. Let me look them up. They're listed for like 40, but no solds. I think we'll just do $10 a day in the sale. I think they'll go pretty well. It'll draw some people in. I'm assuming they're brand new. So that can go over here. What else do we have? This is a heavy box. A box in a box. Oh boy, here we go. Little notebooks. I guess you more of that. Oh, these are nice. Thank you, notebooks. Is this that same company? I don't think so. I mean, these are a dollar day type item, but. Looks like maybe some post-its inside of them. You can kind of see in the edge here. There's probably, what, a hundred of them here? That's a hundred dollar box. Uh, let's see, we've got some towels there. And what is in this one? Thank you for your order. Oh, look, more socks. So this must be the company that makes them. Oh, look, you can get your logo on hand sanitizer. I'm looking to see if there's any note in here to say why they were sent back. Doesn't say anything. So, I don't know, it could have been the wrong size, could have been a misprint. More for the sale. And that is about it for this palette. We've got the towels, we've got some giant boxes, 26 by 20 by 12. Um, and then down here is a piece of furniture, a tabletop sit stand. So probably like a stand-up desk or something. There's another box here that was hidden down here. Two actually, one is full of Kleenexes. Um, and it's a Keurig. And this is the fancy commercial ones. Nice metal body. This is what you'd see in like a hotel. Big LCD screen there. On the back, it's got your hot and cold water lines. So you can just direct around them. And then a drain here for this i think that might actually be the only way to run it i don't see a tank anywhere on here so it might only be for direct connection uh looks like staples even services it but this one on ebay is selling anywhere from three to five hundred bucks uh depending on condition this looks pretty new to me let me smell it this has never been used you can smell if there's coffee in there never been used brand new so we'll probably be closer to 500 bucks on this one um, definitely happy about that. That should go pretty well. All right, so I've cleaned up a little bit. This is toilet paper, paper towel. Now over here, we've got multi-fold towel. Uh, this is dollar day, paper you already saw. Dollar day, uh, $10 day. Just two cases, I'm stacks, keeping the stack of roll towel and unsorted boxes. And then this is like middle of the sale range. These two boxes I'm keeping, and this is all being sent to a local auction. All right, let's start on this one. I don't have a ton of time. I don't think I'll finish it today, but we can get started. This is, oh yeah, 
the bathroom stuff. Um, I would assume this will probably be like a mid-value day. I can't imagine this would be a dollar. And on top, we've got Purell and electronic dusters. So this will be a mid-value day right here. And the Purell we'll put on this palette. It's the same model number as these. Let's see, that's a dollar day. These are super expensive, but there's just no market for them in the sales or local auctions. And Tim said they're not worth it on eBay. So here we've got, what is this? Oh, the desk organizer. So you can put files in there, I guess. I don't know. This will be probably a mid value day. Uh, up here, we've got another one of these. We'll toss in that palette. More of this. This is Purell, right? Uh, this is a different brand. It's foaming hand wash. These might be worth putting on eBay. So I just went to grab this one off camera and put it on the palette. There's a foam cord in it. That's it. Garbage. Uh, these two I'll give to Tim for eBay. They're selling for about 40 or 50 bucks a box. So, uh... It was gone for about a week. When I came back, Tim finished going through it all. So, um, end of video.